Howdy gamers, welcome to my review of the Longhorn in Roblox Jailbreak. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe. Now let's kick things off with chapter one. Yeehaw! Oh, no, that wasn't the name of the chapter, that was just me saying yeehaw. <laughs> The Longhorn thrives off of its looks. I would compare it to that of the Shogun, in the sense that it has loads of unique characteristics that all work together to create a fantastically distinctive car. Let's list its details, shall we? There's its iconic bullhorns on the front, the epic wood paneling on the sides, the fun exhaust pipes on either end, its unique headlights and taillights, and the lasso on the back. I think it's a lasso, I'm not sure. Then there's this car's one-of-a-kind feature, that being its animated convertible top. Not only is this another convertible car that has the ability to give it a roof or remove it, but it also moves. In my opinion, while it's somewhat laggy, it's a really cool feature that brings this car up a notch. Finally, there's the interior, which has really clean leather seats, smooth wood paneling, and a ton of details in the driver's seat, like the fuel gauges, gear shift, and whatever this is. Overall, this car is extremely stylistic. It's a super solid car to show off. However... <laughs> The Longhorn doesn't thrive nearly as much when it comes to performance, but it's not bad. It's just average. Its acceleration is probably its best stat, being able to hit 80 MPH in a second, and that's honestly not too bad. I found that when I was driving this car around the map, I averaged 150 to 160, even when I was trying to keep the car on the slower end by turning a lot. That's also not too bad. However, that's about where it stops shining. This car's absolute max speed is 190, and it's pretty hard to hit without using the drag strip in the trading hub. Its reverse speed is as normal as possible, and it doesn't have particularly good climbing, but its off-roading isn't too shabby. Lastly, its handling and braking is also very average. Overall, the Longhorn is nothing special when it comes to performance, but it's definitely better than riding a horse. Now it's time to look at some of the offers I got for the Longhorn. The first trade I received was Poseidon, Gold, and Drone. Honestly, this is an insane deal, but I talked to the person a little bit more, and it turns out they were only offering this much because it was my Longhorn specifically, so I asked them to offer as if this was a normal person's Longhorn, and they gave me Poseidon and Drone, which I think is still fairly solid. I think that trade is a W, and I would probably take it. Then I was offered Macaron, and this is also a pretty good trade. I have no doubt in my mind that the Longhorn will settle at around two and a half million as most seasonal cars do. So the Mac being worth more than this thing just makes this trade an automatic win. The third trade I got was someone's Rattler, and this is also a fair trade. Most of the trades I got today were fair, which is insane because most of the time I get undervalued trades or, or low balls or whatever you call it. But yeah, this is just a solid trade. The next trade I got was Parisian Tiny Toy and the Military Helicopter. Another really solid trade because I think Parisian is worth about as much as this car will ever be worth. You're getting a free 2 mil on top of it. The next trade I got was Hyper Red 1, Matador, SUV, and Cybertruck. Honestly, this is kind of a low offer, but that's totally fine. I would probably not take this, though. Afterwards, I got offered Brule, the military helicopter, the Volt bike, and Teddy Bear. What the frick is this? Do they just not know values? Are they new to trading? Are they overpaying? Are they trying to pass off a Duke Brule? I don't freaking know. If everything in this trade is solid and they acknowledge that they're not, they don't, that they are fine being somewhat scammed, then. I would take it. After that, I got offered Aperture, another solid fair trade. Finally, I got offered from Bray, Concept, Hyper Orange 1, Hyper Pink 1, and the Military Helicopter. This is an absolute W in value, but I probably wouldn't take it because none of these things are limited, whereas the Longhorn is limited. If you take this though, I would not blame you. In conclusion, the Longhorn, while not the most outstanding vehicle in Roblox Jailbreak, is a fun addition to the vehicle roster. It has great character, average stats, and gets fairly normal offers. Thank you for watching. Now giddy up!